Hey guys, it's Kevin Davis from Rugged Restore, and today I wanted to go through a little bit of a basic wash technique with you. We're going to be releasing these over a series uh, for you to kind of keep those little bits small and easy to watch and easy to follow. Uh, today we're going to be washing Sugar High. I'm going to just kind of stick with this little area here for the simplicity of the video. Uh, this is her Rally Jeep, her Trail Jeep, and it's been out on the trail and the road and frankly needs a little bit of love. We try to keep it pretty easy for you, so we've created several different kit options for washing your rig. Uh, today we're going to be using this Ultimate Kit, which pretty much includes everything that you need to get a great wash. Uh, one of the things most people don't know is a lot of damage to your vehicle actually happens during the wash cycle. So you want to do it right. You want to use proper chemicals. So throw away that old Dawn, those old uh, dish towels, and those old towels that you're not using in the bathroom anymore. Uh, uh, use the right stuff. You've got a lot of money invested into most of your rigs, and we want to take care of it correctly. Now, this vehicle actually has a wrap on it, so it's a little bit different than paint in terms of how aggressive we can be washing it, but I always treat the wrap the same way I would paint uh, and try to take care of it as best I can. And during the wash cycle is one big area that we want to make sure we do it right. The first place we want to start is to get everything prepped and kind of do a pre-wash in order to get this thing ready, uh, get all our materials ready, all our supplies ready in order to give this thing a great wash. Uh, the kit comes with a three and a half gallon bucket. We use this instead of a five gallon bucket. It's a little bit easier to handle uses less water, and for most vehicles, this is gonna be more than adequate. Now, one big secret in order to get a great wash without scratching your paint is this. This is the Grit Guard. This is an American product. You'll see many, many copies out there. We actually support uh, the company that made these and invented these, and we try to support American-made products as much as possible. Uh, so this is the original Grit Guard. Uh, this just fits in the bottom of the bucket, and what that does is allows you when you're washing to create a little bit of a cyclone action so that when you're taking your wash mitt, it's dirty from washing your vehicle, you rinse that off, you kind of go into that, and all of that dirt and grime and sand and everything else actually gets stuck in the bottom. So the top layer, which is your wash water, actually stays pretty clean. So we're gonna get that filled up, we're gonna get the pre-wash going, and uh, we'll get this thing washed. You've got a few different options for actually getting the soap and water on the vehicle. Uh, I like to, of course, use our great wash mitt, our bucket, easy wash and wax, and of course the grit guard that keeps everything flowing and protected. You also have the option, which I like to use, our foam cannons. And we have a couple different versions. We have the one that just goes on your garden hose. And if you have a pressure washer slash power washer, you can use that version, which is also really nice. And what foam cannons allow you to do is create a real thick foam of, of the soap, the car shampoo, onto the rig so it's a lot easier to get coverage and it actually looks kind of cool and is kind of fun. Today we're going to be doing a bucket wash with our wash mitt, grit guard, and our bucket and our easy wash and wax, but just know that these are options and the foam cannons really do a great job. I like to get the mitt a little wet and put a little bit of water on that and in the bottom of the bucket before I get started. <laughs> Then we're gonna take probably three or four capfuls of the easy wash and wax. Should be enough. You can rinse that off. And then we will just fill it the rest of the way and make some foam. have it we're ready to go as you can see the easy wash and wax makes an awesome amount of foam we've got our wash mitt all ready to go and then we're going to be able to get that and do the wash the first thing i want to do however is get everything prepped so if there's areas of heavy grime heavy dirt uh some bugs up front i want to get those pre-washed and treated so that they'll come off a little bit easier as we're getting the wash done one of the areas that takes the most abuse on our vehicles is the one that's on the surface of the road. So you got your wheels, your tires, and the suspension. This is an open fender Jeep with no inner fender liners, so uh, the suspension gets pretty dirty as well. We're going to go ahead and use our cleaner and degreaser. 
as sort of our pre-wash on our wheels and tires, try to make sure we get all that uh, road grime and grease off of there ahead of time. Same thing with the suspension. I also like to use this as a bit of a pre-wash uh, for bugs uh, and other debris that may be around the vehicle. Uh, the mirrors get quite nasty, even on the windows and on our light bars uh, need a little bit of treatment. So we're gonna go ahead and do the wheels and tires. For the wheels and some of the other areas, I like to use our little brush that comes in the kit. This is a wheel and tire brush, as we call it. It's kind of an accessory brush. I'm not a big fan of using this on actual paint. I will gently use it for bugs on some occasions, but I try to avoid that uh, because they do tend to scratch quite a bit more. I would much rather work a little bit uh, longer with a good wash mint that's soft and safe for your paint. But as far as wheels, suspension, uh, tires, and all that, this thing works great. So we're going to get this sprayed down. We're going to get this scrubbed. Then we're going to move on to our wash cycle. So as we rinse those off, you can see that there was quite a bit of junk that was still on there uh, and that the brush and the cleaner degreaser took off. Same thing with the fenders. I did use the brush on our front grill. Like I said, we have a wrap, so I'm a little bit more aggressive. Uh, and on the bumpers, you can obviously do those than I typically would be for a vehicle that has paint. So we've done the pre-wash. We will wash uh, the wheels and tires and suspension uh, as part of the wash cycle, but that's our pre-wash, same, same with the bumper. So. 